Parshas Shmois. This is a Shmois adapted from the Sefer Koyal Aryeh. There are incredible things happening in this Parsha. Incredible and unbelievable. It says in Shmois Gimel Pasuk Yud, the Rabbi Nishlam says, Viato Lacho Vieshlochacho El Paray. I want to I, I want to send you to Paray for Haitse Es Ami Bene Israel Mimitsroyim and take out my people, the children of Israel from Mitzrayim. In other words, there came the time for the Gula. Moshe Rabbeinu incredibly refuses, refuses to listen to Hashem, refuses. Moshe Rabbeinu says, Lo yish manoichi, I don't speak well. Shlach no biyati shlach, send, send somebody else. And the question is, how does Moshe Rabbeinu refuse Hashem? Hashem says, I want you to take the children of Israel, Klal Yisrael, out of Mitzrayim. And Moshe Rabbeinu says, says, says Shlach no biyati shlach. Send somebody else. The next question is that How can Moshe Rabbeinu refuse if this is Mamish Pidyon Shvuyim? This is one of the greatest mitzvahs in the Torah to redeem people in captivity. Pikuach Nefesh. It's Pikuach Nefesh. It's, it's, a, it's Pikuach Nefesh. They've got to save, save a, whole, a whole nation. How does Moshe Rabbeinu refuse? Thirdly, the Medrash Rabba, Shmois Rabba Gimel, Halacha Gimel, says incredibly, Im ein ato goyalom, the Rabbeinu Shlom says, if you don't redeem them, ain acher goyalam. Nobody else is going to take them out. So again, how does Moshe Rabbeinu refuse Hashem when when nobody else, if if if, if Moshe Rabbeinu does not accept to redeem them, if you don't do it, they're going to remain enslaved. Nobody else is going to redeem them. So what was going on in Moshe Rabbeinu's mind that he paskined that he can't do it? So the prophet continues and says that the Ruach, the Rebbeinu Shalom tells Moshe Rabbeinu, the Ruach, when Aaron sees you, they were going to meet Aaron on the way, the Samach Belibai, the Ruach of the Samach Belibai. When he sees you, he's going to be so happy that his younger brother is going to be the Redeemer of Kal Yisrael. And Rashi says, not like you think. The Rebbeinu Shalom says, it's not like you think. That when he sees you, he will be makpid olecha. He will not be happy at all. That... It's not like you think. It's not like you think that uh, that he will be jealous. 
that his younger brother will take away his position because Aaron Hakoyen for 80 years was the Novi in Mitzrayim. For 80 years he was the prophet. And now his younger brother is coming to take over the leadership and 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 he will and it's 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 he he will be he will be jealous. That's what Moshe Rabbeinu was thinking. That's what Moshe Rabbeinu was thinking. So the Rabbeinu Shalom says, the Ruach of Samach Belibai. And the question again is, so so what? So what if he'll if he'll if 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 Aaron will will be jealous? So what? But look look what what's at stake here? It's at stake of of redeeming an entire people that are in bondage. It's saying no takarish barchu. It's saying if you it's 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 saying if you don't do it, nobody else will. Is that all worthwhile for 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 Moshe Rabbeinu to refuse because he might hurt uh, Aaron's feelings? But even if he hurts Aaron's feelings, so what? So what's what's the what's the big avera? But it seems from here that it is a big avera. That it's worthwhile, Moshe Rabbeinu Paskind, that if I have to hurt Aaron's feelings, he thought he would be hurting Aaron's feelings. The Rebbeinu Shalom said he's not going to be hurting Aaron's feelings because Aaron is a tremendous tzaddik. And, uh, and Aaron would welcome his younger brother to take over the reins. But, it's, but, but Moshe Rabbeinu thought that Aaron would be hurt. And if Aaron is going to be hurt, if another human being is going to be hurt, then nothing is worth it. I have to say no to Akadosh Baruch Hu. I have to I have to forget about Pidyon Shvuyim, about Pikuach Nefesh, and I have to uh, forget about if nobody will do it. If if I don't do it, nobody will do it, and um, and it's all worth it. It is all worth it. Can we fathom what it means to be what Bein Odom Lachaveri means? Could we fathom such a thing? It's worthwhile to give up so much not to hurt another human being. Not to hurt another human being. So perhaps this word should strengthen our conduct in Bein Odom Lachaveri. Because Moshe Rabbeinu was willing to give up so much, so many important issues, so many important things, if our own will be hurt. We should be zeicha to, to improve our conduct in Bein Adam Amen Amen.